Okay, great. So now that we've reviewed that, I just want to mm -hmm. talk to you a little bit about uh, especially the alcohol, okay? Okay. All right. First of all, I just want to really congratulate you stopping smoking. Um, it Thank sounds you. like you kind of know how good a thing that was for your yeah, health. Yeah, it feel much better, and I think I smell better too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, as far as the alcohol, though, I just mm -hmm. want to review. So it sounds like um, one or two pints of beer um, three or four times a week is the kind of average? Yes, that's, that's right. Usually okay. it's two pints, so, okay. but one or two pints. And just, I just want to mm -hmm. clarify for you. So when we talk about drinks mm -hmm. with beer, we usually talk about beer as a 12 ounce drink. So a pint is 16, so that is really like uh, one and a third. So if you have two, it's like two and two thirds. If you had three pints, that would be really four drinks. Um, I know it's kind of funny, but that's when we kind of try and look at drinks, we do them in 12 ounces of beer, so. Yeah, and that's that's a good way to put it, because where, where I drink, they serve pints, which mm -hmm. is kind of an Irish pub, so yeah. that was a good way to put it. And I probably do have at least one and a half to two. Okay. 12 ounce beer, so that puts it in that range, I guess. Okay, <clears throat> so I just wanted to talk to you a mm -hmm. little bit about that because um, given that you have high blood pressure and your, your family's history of heart disease, mm -hmm. um, even that number of drinks in a week can um, affect your blood pressure and can maybe raise your risk for um, heart attack or other kind of cardiac events. So we usually right. recommend that for women, you not have more than seven drinks in a week or more than three in any given occasion. Doesn't sound like very much. No, no, <laughs> it's not. And I'm not implying that I think you drink a lot, but right. even that, that amount, Makes a we difference. find that for women can raise mm -hmm. the risk for health problems okay. down the road. So, hmm. so what do you think about that? Um, I'm a little surprised. Um, I guess a touch bit concerned, but a little surprised that it, that little bit could affect your health. Mm -hmm. So okay. Mm -hmm. So so uh, on a scale of zero to ten, if zeros being something you're not really interested in changing at all, mm -hmm. and ten being something you're very interested, how would you rate kind of thinking about cutting back on the drinking right now? Probably about a five. Okay, good. I'm five. glad you're you're ready to consider it. So. You sound a little yeah. bit ambivalent about that. Well, though. I think that's where the five comes from. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little, mm -hmm. you know, willing to look at it, but, um, but you know, it it concerns me whether, um, you know, I, I want to make the change, but and I'm I'm going to work on it, but to to say I'm a ten and I'm going to make the change tomorrow, maybe not, but I am. I am surprised and I am mildly concerned about that. So, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, maybe it would help to, to kind of talk a little bit about some of the positives that you find with drinking. Okay. All right. What are some of the things? Well, <clears throat> it's very hooked up with my social life. I think that that's kind of like what I'm thinking about. It's, I have friends over or we go to the pub after work and it's, it's like a way for me to relax. I have a stressful job mm -hmm. and it kind of, you know, I've been divorced a few years. It introduces me to, to men mm -hmm. that sure. I otherwise, you know, there are not too many places to find guys anymore. And I know the bar is not the best place, but um, it works for me. I do, I do get to meet some uh, gentlemen there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And how about any negatives? May have a hangover, and that makes it difficult to get up. The older I get, the more difficult it is to get up after drinking a couple of pints. Um, <clears throat> and I have lowered my man picker, if you know what I mean. I have probably uh, dated guys that I wouldn't date or, or talk to or entertain the idea of dating um, probably with a couple of pints in me that I otherwise wouldn't have. So those are a couple of the negatives. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like on the one hand it's part of how you socialize, right. kind of unwind. Um, but on the other hand, it's increasingly, you know, affects with hangovers, mm -hmm. maybe difficult to get up, and um, some poor decisions. Does that sound fair? That's, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what do you think about uh, 
like trying to get down to those limits we talked about, the less than three at a given time and less than seven in a week? I think that if I don't, I, I think I could probably do that. I will probably just not go to the pub and that would help reduce, go to the pub as much, mm -hmm. and that would certainly help reduce the occasions of drinking and that that may be an easier way for me to do it. Okay. So I think I'll, I'm gonna try to do that. Okay. And how about maybe thinking about some other ways to socialize? Well, there's a couple of girls that go to this uh, internet coffee shop and mm -hmm. they like it and they've met some guys there and, and obviously there's not much drinking there so that would eliminate one kind of guy. Mm -hmm. So that, that's an idea. I could uh, start going to the coffee shop after work with them or exercise or, or put something different in my life maybe. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Those sound like, like good plans. So. So, you know, I think we should see how that goes. A lot of people are able to cut down on their drinking totally by themselves. Mm -hmm. um, some people find it difficult. So I'd like to follow up with you in a month and see how it's going for you. Does that sound okay? That's okay. That's, okay. that's fine. Great. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.